Hello and welcome back to The Daily Eco. In today's video, we'll explain what diversity is, its different types and what they mean. Definition of biodiversity. Biodiversity can be defined as the variety of living species found on Earth. These species include all taxonomic groups, bacteria, protozoa, algae, vertebrates, fungi, plants, and animals. These organisms must exist in a specific space, resulting in genetic differences and morphological adaptations. When biodiversity characteristics are assessed for a place or region, three biodiversity attributes are considered. Composition describes the components of each biodiversity component in the area. This means habitat, types, species present, genetic diversity within species. On the other hand, structure refers to the physical features that support that composition, that is, habitat size, forest canopy structure, etc. Finally, function means the ecological and evolutionary processes that influence life within that structure. For example, pollination, natural disturbances, predator-prey relationships, etc. Types of biodiversity. Since biodiversity is such a broad concept, there are multiple types of biodiversity that are related to the three existing levels of life. Starting from the lowest level, they are classified as follows. Genetic diversity is a set of different genes contained in all individual plants, animals, fungi and microorganisms. It occurs both within a species and between species. Species diversity is a totality of differences within and between populations of species as well as between different species. Ecosystem diversity includes all the different habitats, communities and ecological processes as well as the variation within individual ecosystems. But before we continue, let us put you to the test. How many species are currently known on our planet? 500,000 species, 1 million species, 1.4 million species. Think about it carefully, because at the end of the video, you can check if you were right. Benefits of rich biodiversity. Rich biodiversity means a balanced ecosystem and food chain. As the different levels are well matched and there is no excessive proliferation or accumulation of waste. It also means maximum use of resources and minimum waste of energy. If biodiversity is limited, a healthy ecosystem cannot exist. Diversity also prevents soil fatigue. Monocultures in agriculture, where nutrients are derived from a single species, are the perfect example of this. A permaculture system integrates multiple species into a productive crop that fits into a natural ecosystem. As for the benefits of biological wealth for humans, it supports the development and extensive use of natural resources. There is a great diversity of plants, which enable us to use various materials for industry, medicine and food. An ecosystem with rich biodiversity has high productivity and improves the opportunities for utilization. Let us now see the importance of biodiversity in our daily lives. Ecosystem services. Biodiversity provides ecosystem services equivalent to the state-level services that sustain our communities. Nature alone can purify, store and provide water, manage, process and recycle waste, clean and oxygenate the air, remove carbon dioxide, irrigate cropland, pollinate flowers and produce food. Environmental indicator. Biodiversity is an important environmental indicator. The number and diversity of species depends not only on the climate and physical characteristics of space, but also on the influence of humans on these areas. When an ecosystem loses its species, it is an indication that humans are exerting too much pressure. Environmental conservation. Biodiversity is essential for developing conservation strategies 
that ensure a secure future for all species. In addition, biodiversity also helps to understand the origin of species from an evolutionary perspective to increase knowledge about our planet. Finally, biodiversity has an intrinsic value that accounts for millions of years of evolution, trial and error, and hundreds of lives that have already existed. Apart from the active value that biodiversity may have for humans or the terrestrial system, it has it by the simple fact that it exists. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it through? The correct answer is C. The total number of current biodiversity is between 10 and 100 million species. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments why do you think biodiversity is important. And until next time.